Hi everyone, welcome to Lorraine Corbanic Fitness. I'm Lorraine and today we're going to do a quick workout with dumbbells for the upper body. So we're gonna get into the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, the chest and the back all under a half an hour. So we're gonna get started right away. If you're not already warm, press pause, go ahead and do some nice big arm circles, open up the chest, just get warm in your body. I've already done that so my muscles are nice and warm. We don't wanna have any injuries. And we're gonna get started right away. We're gonna get down onto our yoga mats or maybe you've just got a place on the floor, that's fine. And remember, if you don't have dumbbells, just grab water bottles or canned goods, make sure you can hold onto them and that they weigh the same amount. We're gonna get down into plank and we're gonna do a front raise. So down on the ground, make sure that your wrists are right below your shoulders and make sure your legs are nice and long behind you. Don't pooch up the bum, don't let that belly sag down to the ground. And then once you're nice and in position, you're gonna pull the shoulders back away from the ears and simply lift up the arms straight in front of you. That's your front raise. All right, are you ready? Let's do this together, shall we? All right, let's go. Pull in that belly and lift. We're just alternating arms back and forth. You're gonna feel this right away. So of course here we're using more than just the upper body. You're gonna feel this in the legs. Of course our abdominals are working every time we're in plank. So it's a little bonus for you. But this is a really great way to tax those arms. All here in the shoulders, back and forth. And every time you're putting those dumbbells down, you're making sure that the shoulders aren't getting hunched up around the ears. We're almost done, folks. Hang in there with me. Keep that good attitude. Tell yourself you've got this. Last two per side. Here we go. Last one. Excellent job. And I did forget to tell you that, of course, if you don't want to be in full plank, you can always drop those knees, yeah? Just keep those abdominals tucked in nice and tight. So if you felt that was a little bit difficult staying in plank that entire time, when we do that second set, just drop those knees. All right, so we're going to get into our fly. So we're going to stand up. You're going to take your feet hip distance apart. Bend over at the waist. Your torso is going to be at about a 45 degree angle. You're going to let the arms just dangle down from the shoulders. And then from here, we're going to, with a soft bend in the elbow, fly the arms out to the side, bring them back down, and then we're going to do a reverse raise. All right, so I'm going to show you from this, this way here. There we go. Reverse fly. See a soft bend in the elbows. Bring it down. Take it behind you. All right? Are you ready, folks? Let's do this together. Again, shoulders are away from the ears. Let's do it. Fly. Bring them down, take them back. Nice and slow and controlled here. So you'll notice I'm not letting gravity just pull my arms down. I'm staying in control the entire time. Take it back, nice and high. You're using that full range of motion. If you like to use your breath when you're working out as I do, you're exhaling as you take the arms out you're inhaling as you bring them back down. <sighs> yeah, it just really helps you to focus, helps you to stay calm, helps you to stay with the movement. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is great. Chest, back, shoulders, arms, everything is working here. <sighs> Almost done this set, friends. Are you ready? Two more. Let's go fly and back and fly, and back. You did a good job. Stand up, roll those shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna get into a hammer curl. So in hammer curl, you're just standing up, get your weight equally distributed between both feet, soft bend in those elbows, hands at the side, so your fingernails are just pointing in towards the thighs. You're gonna curl it up, make sure you're not bonking the shoulders or curling the wrists, and then from there, we're gonna do a press out. So it is a hammer curl, with a press out, opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Are you ready? Let's go. Hammer curl, press it out. Bring it back, nice and slow and control, right? We're not swinging. Momentum doesn't help anybody. Oh yeah, working that upper body. Here we're not in plank, we're not leaning over, we're not having to worry about the lower half of our body at all all about those beautiful arms, 
shoulders, chest and back. Beautiful work. And the whole time we're working out, you're really thinking about those muscles that you're working, putting your mind where the muscle is, we like to say. So here I'm really focusing on the muscles and how they're working together. Like I said, I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together behind me. Do make sure though that you're not arching your back. So when you squeeze, there's not an arch in your back. It's not, I'll show you the wrong way. We're not doing this, right? Not pooching up the bum. Keep the abdominals tucked in. We're almost done. We've got three left. Let's go up and out, back and down. Last two. Yeah. And of course, if you have different weights of dumbbells, you might want to have more than one set here with you. We're done. So that you can trade them out. I'm working with fives this morning. I've also got a set of tens. Just it depends what kind of mood you're in, what your muscles feel like. All right, we're getting into the next one. We're getting down <clears throat> on into a staggered stance. So we're doing a rotational row. This is great for the back. So take one foot behind the other, and you'll notice I've got it slightly angled, about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna lean forward and place the right elbow on the right knee, unless you're opposite, then it's left. Take that arm, the opposite arm, dangle it down in front. We're gonna row it up and notice that there's a twist in my torso. Elbow goes nice and high, all right? So get yourself in position, get ready for this rotational row. You can not even have the other weight in your hand if you don't want it. All right, here we go. Chest is high, I'm not caved in. Let's do it, row it up. Twisting, you can follow your elbow with your gaze. Yes, you're twisting all the way from that waist. And of course you have to use your balance here. You're staggered. Now we're not on a tightrope. So that front foot isn't directly in front of the back foot because then you'd fall over. It's more like train tracks. Nice solid base. Gripping the ground with your feet. Even if you're in runners, I'm in bare feet this morning, but maybe you're in runners, that's fine. Make sure you've got a nice solid base. And you know you can always slow down if you find that this rotation is getting you off balance. Just slow it down a little bit. All right, we're gonna switch sides here in five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, let's go ahead and switch sides. Get yourself so that you're not on those train tracks. Lean forward, pull in that belly, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Dangle that arm down. Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Are you ready? Let's go. Row it up, elbow high. There goes that breath again, right? Following it, inhale down, exhale up. If that works for you, that's fantastic. If it doesn't and you're like, what is she doing? I don't like that. You can just breathe normally. Do what works best for you. Just notice your breath though. Don't let it get away from you. We're not running a marathon. And you certainly don't want to be holding your breath. No, so twist and lift that elbow. Beautiful, really feel that in the back. So it's not about how tight you were gripping that dumbbell. You can watch that. Loosen it maybe a tiny bit. I feel this in the chest a little bit as well. Excellent job, my friends. We're almost done this side. We can count it down now. Last five and four. You got it, everybody. Last two and one. Beautiful. So we have one more exercise to do before we do them all over again. We're going to end with our plank position as well. This time we're going to be doing a renegade row. So we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab slightly heavier weights just because I really like the way it feels. You can stay where you're at if you prefer. We're gonna get down into that nice plank position. Now because we're gonna be taking one hand off the ground at a time, you may wish to take the feet slightly wider than you would normally. And we're gonna pick up one dumbbell at a time, row it up to the waist. Bring it back down, opposite side. All right, so get in position, get that belly nice and tight, and remember, you can drop the knees and do it from this position right here. I'm just gonna turn a tiny little bit. Just make sure the abdominals stay nice and tight, and you're still rowing it up to the waist. All right, so here we're getting into the chest, we're getting into the back, 
Arms are working. It's a beautiful upper body exercise. Let's do it. Row it up. And the whole time we're here, you're being very careful. Oh, my foot just lifted off the ground. To keep that little tiny bend in the elbow. We never want to be locking up the joints. We want to be really mindful with our movements. That's the whole idea. Thinking about what muscles you're working, how's breath going. Yeah, watching all your body parts, making sure they're where they're supposed to be, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Watching, of course, for any signs of fatigue. If there's sharp pain, you're gonna back out of it. Maybe lower down the weight. There should be never any shooting pains. Just that lovely, mm, my muscles are working. All right, and we're almost done here. We're gonna do two more sides, or two per side. Let's go up, other side. One more right now, let's do it. Up, down, other side, finished. Drop those knees, grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna do those all again. Remember, if hands are ever an issue for you, like, oh, those are really, you know, bothering me after using those weights, give them a little bit of a, a stretch, a little bit of a wiggle in the wrists. Take care of yourself. You know what you need to do. Make sure you've got that good attitude, right? All right. I think we're ready to go. So what did we start with? We started with those planks. Maybe you're trading up the weights. I know for me, for my shoulders, I've had a shoulder injury. So for me, it's really important to kind of take the weights down a size. So that's why I use the fives for the shoulder lifts because that's really what we're using in our front raises is the shoulders. So again, get down into that beautiful plank position we were just in. I bet you're probably cursing me now, right? Sorry about that. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, beautiful plank position. Hopefully you have a mirror, you can check yourself out. Here we go, lift it up. Front raise, setting it right back down where it came from. That's it. Oh, do you feel that? What a beautiful feeling. You're absolutely, absolutely having to also engage through the abdominals. And hey, we can, we can kind of include the abdominals in upper body, can't we? It's that midsection of our body, obviously, but I like to use it as much as possible. So pairing it with upper body and arms makes sense to me. Just remember you can drop those knees if you've had enough of your plank. That's okay. Try to stay with me here. No matter if you're on your knees or full plank, a few more raises, watch those elbows. And yeah, I know you're feeling this in wrists and the palms of your hands. That's okay to get a little tougher there too, hey? All right, last three, up and down, lift, proper form the whole way, even for the last two, beautiful, I'm feeling it now, let's go, last one, yeah, Whew. so again, I really felt that in the palms of the hand, give yourself a little love, whatever you need, rub them, shake them, kiss them, <laughs> oh, I better keep those, so we're doing our fly with that reverse raise, so let's go ahead and get ourselves hip distance apart, Soft bend in those knees, bend it on over. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. Dangle those arms down, and don't forget that soft bend in the elbows. Let's go. Fly it out, and then behind you, straight arms. Yeah, good job. Out, and back. Out, and back. Now, if you'd rather do it with a bent elbow, you can come up this way and kick it back. Some people feel like that is way more effective for the triceps. I'm feeling it in those triceps, even with the full reverse lift. It really gets into those shoulders as well. So for me, it's a two for one. Shoulders and triceps, so good. Keeping that, whoops, I almost forgot to go back. Don't forget to keep that nice long neck. We don't wanna hunch the shoulders up into the ears. I know that's kind of our body's natural instinct when we get tired, when we feel like we're working too hard, the body tries to compensate. But here we go, last two, out. Beautiful, and back, last one. Mm. Whew. Good job, roll up those shoulders, excellent. Okay, hammer curl. 
Beautiful, your lower body gets a total break. So do those abdominals, really we're flat on the floor, two feet, nice and sturdy. Take the shoulders back away from the ears. Are you ready? Those fingernails are pointing towards the thighs. Hammer curl, press it out. We're squeezing those back muscles. We're opening up that chest. Mm. You got it, friends. I know you're doing great. So nice to be able to work out at home, right? You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to fight traffic. You could probably be doing this in your pajamas if you really wanted to. I have to admit, I've done that before. As long as you're getting her done, yeah. All right, how you doing? You staying with me? Thinking about that hammer curl and the press out. When we do that hammer curl, it's all about those biceps. Yeah, getting stronger for that upper body. Doesn't matter if you're male or female, it's important for all those activities of daily living that we wanna do, whether it's picking up our kids or hauling around groceries or doing yard work, we wanna be strong. That really helps to prevent injury, right? So even if you're just using small weights like I am today, it definitely builds a muscle. Just keep at it. Last two right here. Beautiful. Last one. Press it out. All right. Let's get into that rotational row. Whoo. All right. So staggered stance. Like a little lunge. Watch that back foot. Little tiny bit of a D degree of angle there. I've got about a 45 degree angle. Like I said, lean forward. Find that knee. Are you ready? We're rowing it up. Elbow high. <sighs> Beautiful. Opening up that chest. Shoulder blades back. Rowing it up. Rows are so beautiful. So productive. So effective for building the back muscles. And again, I pretty much feel like this one's a full body one. You're having to stabilize on these legs through the core. So you might be shaking a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. I could do this one all day. I promise I won't though. I promised I had you, I'd have you out here in under half an hour. We're gonna be good to go that, for that. Absolutely. Almost on this side, how you feeling? Good job. Last five, four, full range of motion. Here we go, one more. Mmm, yeah, let's go. Come on up, turn around, sink it down, take your time. You can either press pause or just start after me if I'm kind of rushing you. Let's get that arm down. Are you ready to pull it? Let's go. Elbow high, slow on the way down. Elbow high, yep, beautiful. I know you're doing great. Just working within your range of motion. Don't worry if you don't look exactly like me. Stay with the movement, watching that dumbbell all the way, and then scanning that body. Making sure everything's where it should be. Noting any signs of shooting pain, like I said. Or undo discomfort. You know, if you have to slightly, you know, move that foot or let go of the dumbbell in the other hand, you make those little adjustments as you go. Don't feel like you're kind of stuck in one place. All right. And in that scan that we're doing of that body, we're making sure those abdominals are tucked in nice and tight. Pull that navel in towards the spine. Gosh, I think we're almost done this side. Let's go three and two. Last one, set it down. Take that little tiny break because I know I'm doing back-to-back -back rows with you. Love to work that back. We're gonna get down on the ground, maybe with heavier weights, maybe not. That's fine if you choose not to. <sighs> All right, you know what plank looks like by now. And do remember, you wanna take those feet just slightly wider. You want a slightly wider base to kind of keep your, 
your, yourself in position and not pull yourself over. All right, shoulders back and down, abdominals nice and tight. Let's do this, row it up. And up. I know you know what you're doing now. Watch those dumbbells though, because we are in the position where the dumbbells are underneath us. It would be easy to allow gravity just to pull them down, right? And not stay in control of the movement. All right, we can't control much in this world, but we can control our dumbbells when we're holding them. And if it gets too heavy, remember, even if you don't have a lighter set to trade them out with, or other canned goods or anything else nearby, just set them down. Don't use anything at all, right? You can just row up the arm doing the movement. That's fine too. Yeah, good job. It's like you're training your body before you're really building the muscle. So just take your body for where it's at. Be thankful that you're here, that you're alive. What's that quote? Any day above ground is a good one. There we go. We're moving, no matter if you're on your knees or without weights, that's okay. Let's finish it off here. We've got two more per side. Last one, and then we're gonna do a bonus move. All right, we're gonna come down onto the back. We're gonna pump out a few chest presses because we've got a little bit of time. We'll still be out of here under 30 minutes. So even though we're working those chests when we do our flies and when we're in plank, I wanna work it just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab the dumbbells, whatever size works for you. Roll it on back. You're gonna take the elbows out to the side. They should be pretty much in line with the shoulders. And when we're lying on our back, you wanna make sure that you don't have that arch in your back. So if you can put your hand through that arch, suck that tummy in, pulling the navel into the spine. Make sure that lower back is nice and flat on the ground. Feet are just behind the tush. Knees are bent. Take those weights. We're gonna press it up right over top of the chest. Here we go. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, take it out. Now as we take those elbows out towards the sides, we're not resting them down on the ground. And we're not arching the back. That back stays flat against the ground the whole time. Now for those of you that like a little two for one, you want an even bigger bonus than just doing the chest press, you're gonna lift the legs off the ground. And by lifting the legs off the ground, you're engaging that core. Super important though, if that back arches, either lift up the legs higher or put them back down on the ground. All right, we don't wanna be arching that back because when we arch our back, that means we're working the back and not in a good way. We're, our back is just taking over and we really wanna be just using the core. So I'm actively pulling my belly button in as I'm pressing up the, the weights over top of the chest. Yeah, we're almost done, my friends. Watch those dumbbells, though. Make sure you're not pressing up over top of the face. That's pretty common when people get tired. It starts drifting. We're gonna press it up five more. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful job. You can sit down the weights, you can sit down the bottom, you can have that drink of water, and look at that. We definitely got it done in under half an hour, it looks like 25 minutes, somewhere around there. So thank you again for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a message, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet already, and have a fabulous day. Take care.